Friends, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a very warm welcome to our service from Holy Trinity today. My name's Martin, I'm the vicar here, and we're a church in the village of Rudrick in Sussex in England. It's great to have you with us, whether you've been watching regularly or whether this is your first time. As we start our service this morning, a couple of notices. First of all, we're starting a new sermon series today. After Easter, we often look at the resurrection, and this year is no exception. Often we've looked at the resurrection accounts in the, new, in the Gospels, or we've looked at the epistles and where they talk about the resurrection. This year is slightly different. We're going to look at the resurrection in the Old Testament, particularly looking at the people of Israel coming back from exile, coming back to Jerusalem and restarting worship, that whole idea of something new coming back to life. Which brings me on to our next notice, which is the Darson Evangelical Fellowship Conference, which is a week on Saturday, the 24th of April. I'll be chairing it and Bishop Ruth will be speaking. I'll be interviewing her at the beginning about her journey of faith, an absolutely fascinating story. So do come and listen. The details are in the church email and she'll be speaking on the same theme, looking at the book of Ezra and Nehemiah. The next day, Sunday the 25th of April, we have our APCM at 10.15 here in Holy Trinity and you'd be very welcome to join us. Details will be in the church emails this Wednesday and the following Wednesday. Now, as we start our service, let's bow our heads and let's pray. Luke writes about the early church saying that all the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed any of their possessions were their own, but they shared everything they had. And with great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Jesus is alive. We thank you that he rose from the dead. We thank you that through his death, we can be in relationship with you and we can come into your presence now. Come by your spirit. Speak to us this morning. Change our hearts and make us more like you. We ask this for your glory and in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, as usual, we have two versions of our service on our website this morning, a traditional version and a contemporary version. The liturgy, the talk, uh, the Bible reading are the same at both, but the music is different. At our contemporary service, we start with two songs. They're songs that remind us of Jesus' sacrifice for the sins of the world and for our redemption. They're the Lion and the Lamb, and then a new song, The Lord is My Salvation. At our traditional service, we start with the great resurrection hymn, Thine Be the Glory. 